So yeah, we took the llama corn. I did a little bit of um, uh, browsing of llamas and stuff, but Nathan said, why don't you add Jeff Goldblum to the back of the dinosaur llama? So I kind of sketched it out on a layer here and then worked it slowly. There's some inks. It's just like Photoshop. You can build it up, build out the colors. And one quick trick I have for um, doing a little bit of um, coloring is just to make sure you do a little shading with your um, artwork. It kind of really bring, it makes the, makes the uh, design pop a little bit more if you just throw a little drop shadow under Jeff Goldblum's butt or something, but, or even here on his glasses. Change the tone a little bit. And that just really makes a big difference. There he is, the Llama Cornice. And we could export this right out, right to a t-shirt, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. So this is it. This is Regis filming as a avocado. Of course, he, he's hosting Who Wants to Be Guacamole, the new game show. And uh, the question of the day, What's the best style of dance? We're gonna say salsa on that one, a little punny over there. But as you finish out your design, what I like to do, I start in Illustrator, build a vector file and bring it over to Photoshop and get it out um, maximum 4,000 pixels wide, uh, 10 megabyte file you wanna build. But I also like to do this thing where you, you add a stroke layer behind your design so it can work on multiple, you know, different colors of shirts, right? So if you had a white shirt, it still works. If you had an orange shirt, it still pops. So really playing with your design because your customer is gonna be able to select what color they wanna put the design on. So you wanna make sure it works good on all the designs. So yeah, that's a little bit of the creative process. Export this to a PNG file, keep the, you know, the background off, transparent, put it right on a shirt, put it on some merch, and that's it. I started with my Thomas the Tank Engine here design. I kind of just started playing around with it, different proportions, kind of seeing how it worked out and kind of, kind of trying to capture the essence of Thomas as it will because he has a very interesting look so you kind of have to make sure he's fun. So I started on the left there. I didn't quite like the way his face looks so I kind of adjusted some proportions and made it look a little more friendly, a little more happy. And uh, usually when you start with a project like this, you want to start breaking it down into basic shapes. And so you can kind of see a little bit of that if I go into like a wireframe mode of the different shapes that kind of make up Thomas and you kind of need to break those down visually. Any uh, artist kind of breaks things down into the most basic fundamental geometric shapes. So you have, you know, in this case, a lot of rectangles, a lot of uh, circles and things like that to make up Thomas. So broke him down into that, try to get his character and his, his likeness. And from here, probably be uh, going to shading and kind of breaking down the design and kind of establishing the next step would be kind of playing with the second part of my quote, which is the vine. So kind of finding out, I'm kind of thinking about putting him on like his own vineyard type uh, wine bottle, so we'll see how that goes.